Hey everybody, it's 123 Mr. B. We're doing some breaking math uh, practice examples. We are going to do some breakdown division shortcuts. Meaning, before I start doing the division here, I'm actually going to make some shortcuts to make life a little faster and easier. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that, uh, and this is a large thing, and I don't really like skip counting by 64 because I'm not fast at it. But what I can do is I can cut things in half in division like this and have the same result. And this is a beautiful little thing. I can cut this down to 100 and cut this down to 32, it's going to be the same answer. I can cut that down to 50, I cut that down to 16, same answer. I can cut that down to 25, and then this down to 8. So really, I could deal with 25 divided by 8 instead of this. Just simply do the math here. 25 divided by 8 equals I don't know, but I know that uh, 24 divided by 8 is 3, and I know that I can add one more group of 8, 1 divided by 8, 1 divided by 8, and then I get 24 plus 1 is 25 divided by 8 equals 3 and 1 divided by 8. Just like that. Now, what would you rather do? This thing, or this, this, or even this thing, right? So when we see a big division thing, we can chisel it down and get something much easier to deal with. Let's try another example. Um, here we go, 588 and 44. Again, I didn't rehearse these. I hope they work out. I know they're even numbers, so I can cut them in half here. 58 and 58 is going to be 39. Whoops, there. And that's going to be a 4. And then 44 becomes a 22. Oh, 394, what's that going to be? Okay, that's going to be uh, 380. 380 plus uh, 14, so that'll be uh, 190 plus 7, so 197 divided by 11. Okay, so this one didn't cut down too far, but I'd rather deal with this than this one here. Now all I have to do to solve this is skip count by 11s. So watch and see how it works here. 197 divided by 11 equals I don't know, but I will take 110 out of the picture, 110 out of the picture because I know off by heart that that's 10. That leaves me with 87 left, so I'm going to take 77 out of the picture because that's 7, and that leaves me with 10 left, so that's just my little thought cloud. So 10 divided by 11 equals 10, oops, 10 out of 11. So if I add that line, that line, and that line, I get my 197. The action's always the same, and I get my place values here. I get 17 and 10 extra pieces out of 11, or 17 and 10 divided by 11. So I could have done this. It was much easier to skip count by 11s, because 11s are a much friendlier number than 44s. That's in my opinion. But uh, in any case, I just started with a number and tried to get it smaller, and that's what I did. So there's the answer for this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so look how much of this stuff you know. This is fantastic. Let's try this other one here. Great, even numbers, let's cut them in half. 500 divided by 12, piece of cake. Okay, 250 divided by 6, okay. 125 divided by 3, and that's an odd number, and I can't see anything that's going to pull out of there, so I'm just going to run with this. Now, skip counting by 3. Okay, hang on. 125 divided by 3 equals I don't know. Going to make my skip count family 3, 6, 9, 12. Now, I know the 125 leads with the 12, so I'm going to skip right up to 120. Okay, so I know that 4 times 3 gave me 12, so that meant 40 times 3 gives me 120, and that means 120 divided by 3 gives me my missing number, which is 40. Check that out. 120 divided by 3 equals 40. Also, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Throw a 0 on the back. There you go. I'm going to add 3 divided by 3, which is 1. I'm going to add 2 divided by 3, which is 2 divided by 3. And I add my lines up together, 125 divided by 3, because the action is always the same, is 41, and 2 divided by 3. Just like that. Man, I hope there's no more. Is there one more? Ah, oh, there is one more. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's cut things in half. So that's 600. This is uh, 128. This is 300. This is uh, 64. This is 150. This is 32. This is 75, odd number. And this is 16. Okay. And of course, those are all divide sign. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this one. Skip count by 16, 16, 32, da da da. Oh, 48, 64. I know I can pull that one out. 75 divided by 16 equals I have no idea. But 64 divided by 16 equals 4. And I have 11 left to go. So I'm gonna add my 11 to get my 75. 11 divided by 16 is 11, and uh, divided by 16. Finish my workout right here. It is a workout. 4 and 11 sixteenths, and that's 
the answer. So instead of dealing with this ugly thing, I could have dealt with this, or this, or this, or this. This is the easiest because the numbers are the smallest. Do my work. There's my answer for all five of these things right here. Okay. Hope you like this. Stay tuned for more vids.